How's it going guys? I'm back with Braden, shark man, and uh, we're going fishing. We got really early, we've got the pies, it's nice weather, so we're gonna head out and see what we can find. Hopefully some pretty big fish. We've got the big game rods, we've got the spear guns, we've got no wetsuits. What could go wrong, eh? So, so far, just, so far, yeah, good. <laughs> let's just go for it. We've just come across a bit of a work up here. We're gonna try and get some liveies, we're trolling later, and uh, see if we can get anything on the surface lures as well. So we've not managed to catch any lively, livelies. Huh. I've uh, not managed to catch any liveies, so we're gonna go for a jig and hopefully catch something in. But there's plenty of bait fish everywhere. Despite jigging around the big shoals of bait fish, we still had no luck on the jigging rod, which I'm very surprised because my jigging technique looked irresistible to fish. It's my first time, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So, because we have no live baits, we are now going, um, Plastic lures for marlin or whatever we can get really. So we're gonna steam out wide and get fishing. With the outriggers set up so we can have more lines and they're all spread out, it's time to do some trawling. Now, it was turning into a very slow day, but three hours in, we got our first bite, and boy, was it a monster! Um. Oh. Oh. Josh is on, at least we're hooked onto something, boys. Any yeah boy, that's what we want. So we've not just got big old lures chasing big fish like the marlin or tuna or anything, we've also got a few smaller ones out for some skipjack tuna and other species of fish. This time we've hooked onto a skipjack tuna, but that doesn't mean it doesn't know how to swim fast and put up a good fight, especially on a lighter rod. Cheers, Skippy. Hey, hey boy. Well, there you have it, my first tuna on a rod. She's not a monster, but she's still a tuna. So we just pulled the lines in because we've come across a big floating log over there. Lots of barnacles on it, which means there might be some fish down there rocking about. So me and Braden are gonna jump in and have a look. We are a long way from land now, and with the weather just getting even better, the sea is turning into just a mirror, we are also diving in around 600 meters of water, which means if you drop something, you ain't getting it back. But just seeing this log and this clarity of this water is truly amazing, and the thought of a fish coming into it and have, being able to have a go at it is just even crazier. This is really my first time diving in this sort of blue water and I'm absolutely loving it. So on 
unfortunately no fish on that one we're after mahi mahi or people know them as dolphin fish um the boys have shot them out here before just on some logs and stuff like that so that's basically what we're after but now getting the lures back out it is glassing off it's pretty insane actually out here that water is so blue so fingers crossed we get into it We've just found another log, reels are coming in, and we're going to jump in. It might seem absolutely crazy jumping in on logs like this in the middle of the sea hoping to shoot a fish, but actually these floating objects can create a really good habitat for small fish, which with small fish comes predatory fish and so on so on. So quite often you get something swimming about, usually mahi mahi or maybe even tuna, you just never know but I ain't gonna miss a chance of jumping in. Unfortunately, no fish were cruising about the logs today, but being in the water again was just truly amazing and picturing something like that happening in the water and hunting fish that way has really inspired me to maybe push out at some point and go chase those fish. On our way over to some more fishing grounds, we spotted something in the water pretty weird and we thought it was a dead seal. Turns out it was just having a good old snooze. So we've not had any luck on the marlin gear. Um, so we've come back into the rocks where we started. There's still a lot of bait moving and we're gonna try and get in for a dive, see if there's any keys about is the plan. The no Braden's keep the smash of kingies. As soon as we jumped in, there was plenty of bait fish kicking about and we've seen a lot of small snapper cruising down at the rocks but nothing big enough to shoot. Now we're just expecting to see some kingies cruising in but these fish you can see here the bait fish are not scared or anything at the minute they're just chilling out there's no signs of anything hunting them maybe if we bite at our time the kingies would eventually come through but without a wetsuit it does get a little bit nippy. Just warming up because it was a little bit nippy in there for a while. Meanwhile, Braden's catching fish. Yeah. A little snap, snap. On the way back in, Braden suggested we stop off at one remote island, tiny little island in the middle of nowhere pretty much, with big deep drop offs, and we're gonna jump in and have a look to see if there's any kingy action. We jumped in and fair to say the water clarity was just as good as all the way out wide and there's also a lot of fish like there's a lot of blue mau mau here and they just look incredible in this water but there's not much sign of any big bait fish uh, shoals moving or any shoals and kingies coming in. And with no luck, it's time to jump back on the boat and head ashore. 
I can't really say it was a disappointing day with no fish because the day was just amazing. Really experiencing new stuff, getting out that far wide and being able to dive in those waters, that clarity, just insane. So unfortunately, no marlin or keys, but it was pretty amazing to be out there and be out that wide again. It was so blue. Hopefully one day I do get out into the blue seas and can chase those tropical fish. Um, you never know, I might get out before I fly home, but that was epic and really fun diving with just some boardies on. And it would have been more fun with some keys. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you all soon.